Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, I am gonna share with you five ways you can get help for Power BI. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Getting help for Power BI. Man, everyone has that moment where you just need some help, right? You're hitting a brick wall, you're banging your head on something, you just need to reach out and ask someone for help. We've all been there, I've been there myself. I don't know everything about Power BI. I don't think anyone can know everything about Power BI. There is way too much. And so there are times when we're doing something that we just wanna reach out and say, hey, either I need help with this or is there just a better way to do it? One of the things I love about Power BI is that we've got a great community and folks are very willing to help. And also coming from the guy in a cube perspective, we get asked a lot, whether it's email, comments on videos, just reaching out over Twitter, something. Like people ask a lot of questions. How do I do this in DAX? How do I use this feature in Power BI? We don't have time to go answer all of those. I wish I could, it would consume our entire day. So we just have to prioritize things. And so I wanna give these items to you to help you get the answers that you need in the most efficient way. And I apologize in advance if we just haven't responded to you. We try to respond to some, but we can't respond to all of it. Also a little background about myself. I was in support for 10 years doing Microsoft BI support, also SQL connectivity. And I was with Power BI in the very beginning, even before it was Power BI from the support side of it. So I've seen a lot of things. I've heard a lot of customer questions. I've also helped a lot of support engineers get to what they need as well. So I'm gonna share with you the five things that I think are the best ways that you can go get help for Power BI. And also caveat this, this could be done for anything. This is not specific to Power BI. Okay, the number one way to get help for Power BI, and I stress this, so important, so important, search. Search, go, go look for it, do the due diligence, try to find it first. You can use the search engine of your choice, but when you go to Bing, type in Power BI and what it is you're trying to look for you would be surprised what you can find on the internet. Especially with our community, there are so many blog posts, videos, documentation, there's a wealth of information out there and just searching for it first can probably give you an idea. Now, I will admit part of the art of searching, and I did say art because this is an art, is searching for the right thing. And I'll have some resources down below of maybe some tips for how to search, but try to search for things, relevant keywords for what it is you're searching on. Keywords that are common, not obscure names that you may know because you may be smarter than me and may know a, a more technical word for something, but try to search for it in a word that is more relevant to the community. So like table and matrix or hey, pie chart, because we all like pie charts. Also, if you're searching for an error message, search for the actual error message, search for the text of the error message. I know whenever I did a blog post or when I do videos, I try to include the actual text of the error message so that it's searchable for items. So you'd be amazed what you can find when you search for the error message itself. So please, 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 please search for it first. I would also challenge you as well to give back to the community. A lot of people say, well, what, what should I give back on? If you can't find it in search, go make it. Get it out there so other people can then find it. All right, number two, communities.powerbi.com. This is the forum area for Power BI. So many people on the community are inside of the communities area. This is a place where you can go ask detailed questions, give screenshots, give long M syntax or DAX syntax and ask for help. Also, be sure to search there as well because someone may have already put it out there. Or if you did find something but it doesn't exactly answer the item that you had, be sure to say, hey, I found this item but I wanna go a step deeper or I need to figure some other aspect out of it. To me, that signals that you actually did some due diligence to search for it first, and to me, that rates it higher in stuff that I'm gonna personally respond to. So definitely check out the community site. It's extremely helpful. And I would also challenge you here, maybe spend a little time, half hour a day or half hour a week, go through and try and answer other people's questions. Because you're asking for help yourself, a lot of people need help as well, and it's great when people can give back and help other folks in the community. All right, the third place I would say to go get help, this one for me is actually one of my number one priorities of where I go, 
but that is Twitter. When I'm at conferences, one of the first questions I ask folks are, are you on Twitter? And a lot of times they say no, and there's a lot of reasons why you may not be on Twitter, and that's okay. If you don't wanna be on the social media platform, just cause I know a lot of, there is a lot of toxicity out there. From a Power BI community perspective, there are a lot of folks that are on Twitter, including MVPs, the product team, lots of folks that are on there. You can get quick answers to items that you may not be able to get as quickly in other areas. If you do have a question on Power BI and if you're not necessarily Twitter literate, then I do recommend that you include the hashtag, hashtag Power BI. I use a tool called TweetDeck and one of the columns I have are specifically for hashtag Power BI. So I can filter things down and only see Power BI items. You could also try including hashtag PBI help as well. There are a lot of folks in the community that watch hashtag Power BI, not as many that watch hashtag PBI help, but let's do more with that. So you can definitely probably get a response or at least a link to a resource that may help you. This is a great resource to go out and use. All right, the fourth item, I'll put you on another social platform, Facebook. So for those of you that are on Facebook and you're not a member of this, go to the Global Power BI user group, Facebook group. There are a lot of folks in that channel or in that Facebook group. So same thing here, you can ask questions. There's a lot of folks that will respond. One thing I will also caution you on is make sure you're searching for the item first. Go, always go back to the number one item, search first. And then when you start off your items, just to help it along, just say, look, I tried searching for X, Y, Z. I couldn't find anything. You know, Can folks possibly help me out? Now you can also search for items within that Facebook group too to make sure that you know someone else didn't ask for it. And as you do searching more, you will get more familiar with you know using those keywords to help find what it is you need to find. But the Facebook group, along with all the other items I've talked about, are great ways for you to actually get the help that you need and engage the community at large. All right, the fifth item I will give you when all else fails, call support. You can go to support.powerbi.com. There are different links there that will help you to engage support. If you're a pro user, you can actually create a pro ticket. If you're a premier customer of Microsoft, obviously you can create a premier ticket from that standpoint, but there are folks in support that can help you with your items. Typically it's geared towards break fix type items, not consultation. So if you're hitting an error, you're not sure what to do with it, call support. They can help you. They can look at the back end logs and they can actually research what's actually going on and try and help you. Also, if you think you've encountered a bug with the problem, you can. there are items from support.powerbi.com to help you do that. You can submit an issue or you could call support and try and make sure, validate that it's actually a bug or not. But support is definitely a viable option for you. A bonus item I'm gonna throw out there. So if all these items happen, and maybe it's a feature request that you've got, it's not necessarily a problem or challenge that you've got, make sure you're going to ideas.powerbi.com. This is a place where you can go to submit feature requests and or to vote items up to signal that, yes, this is really important to me. I want this to be in Power BI. Strength in numbers, the more items that get a vote, the higher priority it gets, and the things that'll tell the Power BI product team what to go look at. I would also say if you submit something on ideas.powerbi.com, make sure you're evangelizing it. Don't just create it, some, you know, vote it up yourself, and then let it disappear, because probably no one's gonna find it. So make sure you're putting it out, using social media to your advantage, making sure people are aware of it, and make the case for why you want this item. Don't just say, hey, I want this item. Tell the story, tell the business case, justification for why you want it. Why is that important for you? How's it gonna help your business? That would be excellent. And then share it out with everyone else. How are you getting help on Power BI? I would love to hear that. Share it with everyone else. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know your tips for getting help in Power BI. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.